My name is Elaine. I go to St. Augustine Public High School in Tesla, New York, the most religiously unreligious school in the country. My grades suck. My teachers hate me. I'm failing geometry for the third time. I don't go to class half the time. I've been given more detentions than I can possibly count. I don't go to any of those either. I'm interested in other things. Intellectual things. Mysteries, puzzles. I'm quite an intelligent person, mind you. I simply lack motivation. So I use my talents for other purposes. I do my best to help people solve their problems, earn some cash. I'm a do-everything person, and I do everything. But above all, I'm a private eye investigator. Are you Elaine? Yes. Are you alright? You look like you just ran the length of the entire school. Are you like a detective or something? I'm a private eye. What's that? It's kind of like a detective. Alright, good, because I need your help. My friend Brian Farsman just got kidnapped by someone in our school and they snuck a ransom letter, this letter, into my locker. The note's not written in cursive, but I think it's serious. Wait, wait, wait. What do I get out of this? I thought you did this kind of stuff for free. God, I wish Mr. Timothy. God, I wish Mr. Timothy, but solving crime isn't cheap. I'm going to have to ask for a fee of $200 in 20s if that's acceptable. Okay, but the note says the money better be ready by 3 p.m., so I'd like to get started right away if that's quite all right with you. That's fine. So we have a deal. We have a deal. Give me the ransom letter. Dear Timothy Parker Hofstra, it's my unfortunate pleasure to report to you that your peer, associate, and friend, Brian Alejandro Farsman, has been kidnapped. If you'd like to see him alive again, then you must get a blue garbage bag and place in it exactly $2,000, which you would then leave in a janitor's closet by 3 o'clock p.m. sharp. If you don't, Mr. Farsman will meet a rather unfortunate fate. Anonymous. Do you know when they might have left this in your locker? Well, it wasn't there before first hour, so I'm guessing it was there sometime between 7.30 and 9.01 a.m. Can I help you, sweetie? Yes, madam, you may. I needed to see the security tapes from the 2000 locker pod in hallway 4B from around 7.30 to 9.01 this morning. That's oddly specific. Just. Please let me see them. Why, may I ask? Well, even though it's none of your business, I'm actually trying to solve a case of a missing student, and now I'd like to see the tapes, please. You're not even in class. Aren't you supposed to be in class? Just let me see the tapes. I'm sorry, miss, but I can't do that for you. just skip class, but doesn't pertain to me. I mean, I don't know why anyone would ever want to kidnap Brian Farsvet. He's such a stand-up guy. I hate my life, I hate my I mean, life, I hate my life. She knows Susie once. Other than that, it's all around one of the best guys that I've ever met. I mean, What's I love this? Well, what, what do you mean it's on hat day? Well, I, I brought my hat. I'm, I'm gonna wear it. No, screw you! I'm gonna wear it! Yeah, hold on a second, Mom. I'll, I'll call you back. I love you too. Elaine, what are you doing in my classroom? I'm on my lunch break. And why is Timothy with you? Mr. Lee, we have reason to believe that a student in your first hour class has abducted another kid from our school, and he used one of your envelopes to write a ransom note. Wow. That's a, that's a lot to take in. Very serious, sir. Yeah, I know it's serious, you moron! You don't think I know that? So what do you need? 
It's simple. All I need is a list of attendance for your first hour physics class. Yeah, but it's risky, very illegal, and breaks the confidentiality clause in my contract. Plus, you'll have to go to the printing room to receive the papers. Okay. Are you really stressed out or something? Are you? Like, I said, are you really stressed out? I, I heard what you said, but why do you say that? So I noticed this thing you do where you put your hand along your hairline and roll your eyes really bad. I'm not quite sure what you're referring to. Oh yeah, I understand now. First of all, that's kind of a personal question. And second of all, maybe I am a bit stressed out. It's none of your business. Would you stay on top, please? Yeah, so, uh, you like, have a boyfriend? I don't want to. I can't see the whiteboard in Mark in class. The handwriting's awful, and it's all blurry. I think I need new glasses. Maybe you could just stay closer to the front. If I did that, I think I may actually pass the class. You know, Dean skipped the first hour day with Mr. White. I have no idea what he's up to, but I think it was no good. He's wasting his life away with immoral stuff. I have no idea what you're talking about. We need to find Dean McCulloch. Is that how you pronounce his last name? I have no idea. So I'm guessing you have uh, some type of personal problem, like boyfriend problems, but I'm not going to talk about that. So what do you suppose we do now? I'm going to ignore your first comment and suggest that we move on. We need to find out what class Dean's in. Oh, Dean? He's in Miss Lucille's room. Why the cuss didn't you say that earlier? You're welcome! Seals room. Dean should be in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going in there. Why not? Okay, she's crazy. She has all these conspiracy theories about Richard Nixon. Okay, Tim, I promise you will not say a single word about Richard Milhouse Nixon, 37th President of the United States, born January 9th, 1913, in the great town of Yorba Linda, California. What the cuss are you doing here? Hello, my name is Elaine. I'm a private eye, and have you seen Brian Farsbeck? He's getting kidnapped. What the cuss does that even mean? I was wondering if I could borrow Dean McCullough. We believe he's kidnapped Brian Frostbeck. This is just like the Watergate scandal. Um, excuse me, but I'm pretty sure that randomly requesting a student from a teacher's classroom without their consent is really rude and probably illegal. I'm gonna need you to have her eat all the paper in the classroom. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> uh, but seriously, I'm going to need Dean as soon as possible. Please, I desperately need your help. Okay, I signed him a pass. He left for the library about 20 minutes ago. Thank you. I guess I hate you. She's not wrong. All right, so if we both split up and search the library, we should be able to come. Wait, do you actually have a boyfriend? Because it seems like you just have commitment issues. And <laughs> it's kind of bumming me out. Listen, I feel like I shouldn't punch you in the face because you're paying me. But just know that I could beat the crap out of you. And no, I don't have a boyfriend. Let's go check the sci-fi section. Wait. Do you actually have a boyfriend, or are you trying to throw me for a loop? Listen, my life is complicated, and no, I'm not interested in dating you. Well, I wasn't saying that. Yes, you were. Excuse me, is there anything I can do for you? No, thank you. Um, then, can you get out of here? What the cost are you doing in here? You're distracting the other students. Wait, who are you supposed to be anyway? I'm the librarian. I didn't even know we had a librarian. 
We'd be happy to leave you alone if you could direct us toward uh, Mr. Medine McCulloch. Dean? Sure, he just left for the theater ten minutes ago. I'd like to apologize, man. Get the cuss out of here! Have you seen Dean McCullough? Yes, of course. He just ran over to the arch room. Why do you talk like that? I'm a thespian. So you're looking for Dean McCullough? Sorry, you just missed him. He's at the vending machines. Say, you like art? Uh, Dean, no. He, I think he went to the pool. <laughs> Dean? I think he sent a Dean go to the gym. America. Oh, Dean? Yeah. He just went to the geometry room. Ow. He just left for the foreign exchange. Wait, aren't you supposed to be in this class right now? Dean just came in, but he's in a big hurry to leave. What's he trying to say? I say he left, he's not here anymore. I think he's trying to help us, but I can't figure out what he's saying. God, I hate America. <sighs> Great. We've been all over the entire school. I'm beginning to wonder if the Dean can even exist. Dean? Dean who? Dean McCullough? Dean McCullough! I know where you can find Dean! Oh, great, that thank you so much. That would help us out a lot. Actually, I think at this point I'm gonna I'm gonna go it alone. You can't just leave me here to die. I'm sorry, Timothy, but I think it would be better for both of us if you just if you stuck around here, like patrol the hallways, look out for suspicious characters and all that. You want Brian to be safe, right? Okay. Oh god, here it goes. I was waiting later to tell you this, maybe take you out to a bite to eat, but uh Okay, here it goes. Elaine, I think I'm in love with you. I know. So, you have a name or something? Would it be helpful if I did? Well, kind of shady, so, yeah. So this is where Dean is? Well, hello there. Are you Dean McCog? Heck yeah, I'm Dean. Well, that is a cussing relief. You've caused me a lot of stress today, you know that? And you better tell me where Brian Forsfett is, or I'm gonna beat the living cuss out of you. Beating the living cuss out of someone? I'm afraid that's my job, sweetie. Olivia Harris. You're worse than I remember. Not doing too bad yourself, toots. Now, Lane, you're gonna have to come with me. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Olivia. Stop that! You're such a stupid prune. You want to beat me up? Well, I'm going to tell you something. What? I promise, more than anything, I hate your dirty, rotten guts. You're gonna cuss and die. But I can't deal with this right now. Hey, take it easy on her. She's not violent. You don't know Olivia Harris like I do. She's violent. Do you think you're some sort of police now or something? I'm a private eye, and you're a bully. Cuz yeah, I'm a bully. What are you gonna do about it? All right, I don't have time for this. You're nobody, Elaine. You're a little nobody, and you're not going to find Brian Farsvet, you little cuss. Don't make me have to kill you. Bite me. Cussing knocked her out. I know. Did you kidnap Brian Farsfett? Who is Brian Farsfett? Don't play these games with me. Did you kidnap Brian Farsfett? Why you gotta single out the black guy? Because you were absent in Mr. Lee's first hour class this morning. Oh, well, uh, um, Peter Hoffman was absent in, uh, first hour, too. Who's Peter Hoffman? That's Peter Hoffman. 
Oh, crap. Dang, bro. She went lickety splickety. <laughs> you know, maybe you're not such a useless piece of crap after all. Thanks for being honest. And I love you still. Well, it took you long enough. Do you feel bad about what you've done? What did he do? He kidnapped Brian Farsfett. Where have you been this whole time? Once again, I'd just like to say thank you so much for saving my life. Of course. Now, don't ever mention it again. Alright. So, was there any motive behind this crime at all? Well, school therapist thinks it's childhood trauma, but personally I think Peter Hoffman is just a punk with anger management issues and some rope. Anyway, he's gonna be in juvie for about three years, so hopefully he'll be in Paris by then. You've done a lot for me, you know? Yeah, I know, but I don't love you. I know, but it's okay. I think I might be gay anyway. Well, that's good anyway. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I, I'll give you 200 bucks. No, keep it. Taking it would just make me feel worse. You feel bad right now? Of course I feel bad. Well, what would make you feel better? You know, I may actually be bi. What are you doing here? What happened to your nose? You punched it and it started bleeding. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? I'm sorry about punching your nose. Oh, well it really hurts. Is it bleeding? Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. I'm sorry too. I'm referring to all those times I bullied you. I know. It's okay. I forgive you. Okay. I forgive you too. Um. What do we do now? I'm gonna play some music. Esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. La La casa del merengue, la 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 la, y la casa de la bachata.